hello i'm tari welcome to my channel this is the part two of making beaded fringe earrings please do check out the part one uh, of this video and if you've never made this type of earring please refer to the beginner friendly video that i made i made a, a video which shows the steps step by step on how to make these please refer to that video because in this one it's a bit rushed we just want to concentrate on the pattern and not the stitching so today we continue uh here we need to close off this diamond so i'm going to pick a black bead One black bead and I add it on and I'm going to finish off this line with a red bead all right so now um so now to finish off this little triangle i'm going to pick one red bead and one black bead and add them on like that now i just need one red bead there right so at this point i'm going to pick six red beads and add them on Now I'm just going to put my needle through three beads first the same method that we are using all this time that's just that we are working with a bit more beads but you just treat it like you're working with one bead the same way you were doing it when you were starting a new line so I pull hard put my needle through the second three beads and under the thread I pull tight and now I'm going to put my needle from the bottom going up so I'm going to put my needle through these three beads first and then uh, the needle will go through the second three beads so that's what I'm talking about the needle comes back up And then through the last three beads and pull tight like that so now at this point I'm going to put my needle through these beads you don't have to do it in one go we want our needle to reach the very last bead here so whatever you can do at a time we're going to start adding the tassels so yeah just a few beads at a time whatever whatever it is that you can do if you're using a long needle and you can do it in one go that's that's also great all right so it's time to add the tassels so I've changed my needle now I'll be using a long needle because I'll be picking a lot of beads so for the first tassel I'm going to pick 10 red beads that's two four six eight 
10. So I have 10 red beads and then I'm going to I'm going to pick one black, two yellow, one black, two blue, one black, two green, one black to separate the colors two red and one black so here are my colors here are the beads and i am just using the same colors that are on the triangles feel free to experiment with colors now I'm going to separate the very last bead from the rest and put my needle through all 10 beads all the way to the top. I pull my thread, make sure everything is sitting neatly. And then I'm going to put my needle through these two beads that way on that foundation that we built. See those two beads? The needle has to go through those two beads. And then you pull the thread and make sure that everything is sitting neatly. Don't make it way too tight. Just tight enough so that there are no gaps in the middle. And now I'm going to put my needle through uh, the bead right next to where the thread came out through this bead this one that is where my needle is gonna go through and it will come out through this bead like that That is what you do when you are turning. So now it is time to pick more beads. This time I've picked 12 red beads. And then I'm going to pick one black, two yellow, one black, two blue, one black, two green, one black, two red, and one black. So what I'll just be adding are the red beads i'm not going to add uh, these beads at the bottom with the different colors i'll just continue to increase the red beads by two so now i'm going to pick the colors i've added my colored beads and now i'm just going to put the needle through these beads all the way to the top And then now through the two beads on the ladder. I make sure everything is sitting neatly before I go to the next step, which is bringing the needle back out by just putting it through the bead right next to where it came out like that there and back out so now it is time to pick 14 red beads and then at the bottom the beads with the color so that is actually how it's gonna go until you get to the eighth line when you get to the eighth line we will continue to get them so now I am right at the middle. I have just picked uh, beads for my eighth tassel. I picked 24 red beads, then I added the colors. So now I'm ready to pick more beads. And now I'm going to start reducing my beads. I last picked 24, so now I'm going to pick 22, just like what I did with the previous tassel. With the seventh tassel, I picked 22 beads. 
So now I need to pick 22 beads. I've picked my 22 red beads and now I need to pick the colors. I've picked my colors and now I'm going to put my needle through these beads and work going up. Make sure you don't skip any beads during this process. You can even do it very slowly and make sure that you have not left out any beads. There, my needle has gone through the beads on the foundation. See that? And now I just have to pull my thread. It is time to turn. So my thread is here. I just have to put my needle through this bead and out through this one at the bottom. Like that there. All right. So now I'm going to reduce my beads by two again. I picked 22 for this tassel, the ninth tassel. So now I need to reduce by two and pick 20. So that is how it goes until you get to the very last one where you pick 10 red beads. Remember, I said I'm only adding and reducing the red beads. As for the ones at the bottom, we are maintaining uh, two beads, then black, two beads, then black to separate the colors. So I'm going to pick my beads and continue. I'm on the very last tassel and I'm just going to put my needle through the beads all the way to the top. And then through the two beads on the foundation. Make sure everything is sitting nicely and neatly. At this point, I'm going to remove my needle. And now you remember that string, that tail that we left at the beginning. You take that one and you thread, you thread it onto the needle. I'm going to be using a short needle for this process. So I have threaded my tail and now I want to move that tail from where it is so that it is just next to this thread that I've been using for the tassels. So it is here. I'm just going to put my needle through this bead right next to where the tail is, this one. And I'm going to, it will come out through this one and it will be right next to the string. You see that? There. The two threads are just now next to each other. So now I also have to thread the other one that I was using when I was making the tassels. It's a bit too long, so I have to make it shorter so that it can be the same length as the tail so i have threaded my my two threads onto that needle and now i'm going to finish off by making knots as i go up so firstly i'm just going to put my needle through two beads going upwards like that For my threads, make sure the last tassel is still neat. It mustn't be, the thread mustn't be too tight because it will be pulling on the last tassel. So I'm just going to make a knot by putting my 
needle under the threads that are already there on the earrings see that now I'm going to use the loop that is formed by that process to make a knot making sure that all threads are sitting together you can even pull one at a time just to make sure that they are all sitting neatly together see that and then I pull them together tight and my knot is right at the bottom right at the bottom that's where the knots have to sit so now I'm going to do it again I'm going to put my needle through two beads going upwards pull my threads pull everything and then now I'm going to make another knot by putting my needle underneath those threads those threads that are in between the, the beads you see that that is where the needle goes through it comes back out And I'm going to use this loop, these two loops formed by the threads to make my knot. There's the loops. There, we have two of them because they are two threads. Now I'm just going to put my needle through those loops. Pull slowly so that the knots go all the way to the bottom and there so I'm going to do it one last time put my needle through two beads going up and then make a knot in between two beads I put my needle through the loop that has been formed I pull it slowly slowly gently so that the knot goes all the way to the bottom and I pull tight and now I'm done so I can actually cut my thread and put my earring hook I put my earring hook and I am done so there we go a cute pair of earrings so that's it thank you so much for watching my video for more videos please subscribe if you liked it please leave a thumbs up thank you so much see you next time bye